Hello, so let me address some additional info. So as you go to, to, to the training material the slides, you will see here at the end, you have the link, these links that you can copy the cases I show you, okay? And so no additional cases, okay? So you can get all these geometries and then you, you can download it and, and do the mesh. But what is important here is that uh, when you do the geometry, it's very important to do the geometry by yourself because when you do it, also you can get an idea how your domain will look like. Okay, so let me go, for instance, the cylinder case. Let me open it here. So this is the cylinder case. So in the case, if you want to, to copy this one, when you copy the link, it will ask you clone this case and you will copy that in your director. But see that what we have here, this is the cylinder geometry, okay? You are going, we are going to, do, to use this case a lot during the meshing session. And you have it there. But if you are doing external geometry, you can go that extra step and visualize your external domain. So see that I'm adding here my external domain and another region there that will be a refining region. Later you are going to see this. So I always recommend you do your geometry, but also visualize your geometry, uh, your whole domain. You can measure here distances. And what is important about this one also, because we're going to see generating the mesh when generating the mesh that these coordinates are very important. So see that you click there and you get the coordinates. So when you create this box, also you get in the geometry so you can create your dictionary, you know, using the geometries that you have here. Okay, so every case, external geometry. Okay, you will see that in this case, well, I didn't put it, but the AMET body, see that I put it in my box. So this is how my domain will look like, refinement regions and so on okay so i always recommend you to do that and just to show you an extra case this one okay you go here put it there okay in my case it will open in your case you will need to copy that it will ask you okay you will be able to to visualize and rotate but just to edit you will need to copy so somewhere there you're going to have that option so see that in this case we're reading an airfoil and creating an airfoil and I created already the, the, how my domain will look like. I know my coordinates, dimensions and everything. Okay. And one question that people might ask, oh, how do I create an airfoil in on shape? I'm not going to talk about that in our website here in YouTube channel. There is a video where I show where we show how to do it because there is an, a specific tool, this one here that you can use to read airfoil coordinates okay so you have it there and you can follow that and just to show you something about that okay so see for instance this case and let me go back here so the tool simply will read the airfoil coordinates that you can load that material so see that it's a CF CFV file you can out upload so see that you have here import you can import the STL the the sorry the CFV file so this is, is you have used ECFOIL, it, it is the same format, okay? You have the coordinates and that's all. Okay, so you use this a small script and you create your files, okay? So this is script, okay? You can have a polyline or you can put it in a spline. So in this case, the spline is not good. It's better to have a polyline and so on. As soon as you have those, you just convert it to, a, to sketches and then create surfaces and then you can do extrusion okay and just to show you something more complex is creating a wind so some of you might be interested in this external aerodynamics or turbine blades electric turbines and that stuff so doing this is not easy okay so but you can imagine how it works so you see that we have a loft from here to here so in this case the, the wind is symmetrical but the tricky part see that also we have the the end here, the tip, and to create this is also based in love. Okay, so love is very powerful. So as you see this geometry, which by the way, it is the Onera. As you go here, it's this one. You will see that everything relies. First, we read the the airfoil, no? So see that in this case, we're just reading an spline, this one, okay? So you read the coordinate, it's a comma separated value, okay? You convert this to a sketch. So see that 
you close it, you have the surface, and from here you, you can imagine what is happening. Okay, so let me go here and show you. So here I created a loft, so see that two profiles and using guidelines. You go here and see that you do the loft operation. So look at that, two faces. And I didn't show the guidelines because they are this linear, but you have the option as well. Okay, so let me have here. So now we go this step. So here I'm sketching in this face. So see that I'm splitting in two surfaces, a reference plane. And see here, for instance, to create the end section, you can use revolve. So you select that one and you use a revolve and you have it there. But this one is when you have axial symmetry. So it might happen that you don't have the axial symmetry, you have different cross sections, you have different cross sections. The idea is the same, just you need to create the sketches. So as you go here, you will see that for instance, this is the sketch, okay? Put it here so you have one here and one sketch here. So the love operation, you already see here. So see that how powerful is this loft because you can go from a surface to a point. Okay, so let me show you here. And see what we're doing here. You have the profiles and you go to a point, to a singularity, okay? And you have a lot of control. So as you see that loft operation, see that we have guidelines, okay? So it's trickier to generate, okay? But you can follow there, you can reproduce this easily. And the other section is pretty much the same. Okay, so see that you go from there to there. Okay, so this is different from the one using Revolve here. There is no more access symmetry. Or is, I have control using Profile. It's up to you, okay? But usually closing the tip can be tricky. Okay, so, and these are all your steps there. Okay, so let me hide everything. And this is your final geometry. Okay, so you can clone this case and you have all, all these steps here, okay? And this one also you have, okay, different, different geometries, okay? So another win here, so you can get some examples. What I also want to mention that in the cases that we just see all is you want to, to clone there, you're going to see another f tab here called drawings. So if you open here, you, you have the drawings of this part, okay? So if you want to know how to do the drawings, okay? There you have it with the dimensions, okay? So all, not all cases, most of them, you are, you are going to find the drawings. So for instance, the amet body, you have drawings there. Also in the cylinder, which is super straightforward, the cylinder case. Okay, you have the dimensions and you can get into it. For us, it's just important getting the, the solid. Okay, so that's all for this case, or just to show you this extra information. So thank you very much for your attention. See you next video. Bye.